All right, welcome. This is video number two in my day one coverage. And basically, I'm going to tape the next seven matches in a row. Uh, we're starting here. We're already up to Sanyaku because we have two Komasubi, three Sekewake, and three Ozeki. And that combination uh, comes out to seven matches. We don't have Teruno Fuji. Uh, the Yokozuna has pulled out of the tournament. I guess he's having a little bit of a problem uh, with his back. And also his diabetes is uh, not under control 100% from what I hear. So, the no Yokozuna this tournament. And I'll repeat that a few more times. This match is our new Komasubi Nishikigi taking on uh, Tamawashi, another veteran. And Nishikigi gets his own little flashy graphic there. Good for him. And he is in the green, and he is on your left. Tamawashi, the Iron Man, Maigashira 3 this tournament. There he is. He's 33 years old, and he's about six foot one and about just under 400 pounds, so right around there uh, for you Americans, <laughs> not in the metric system. And hey, you know, I'm an American. I had to learn uh, after I moved here. And, you know, you, you adapt. Uh, and Tamawashi is, is even older. I don't know if they'll give his stats. I believe Tamawashi is 38 currently. Uh, let's see when Tamawashi's birthday is. Uh, November. Okay. So in November, uh, probably during the November tournament in Fukuoka, Tamawashi will turn 39. So uh, he is the oldest man in the top division. He might be the oldest man in professional sumo. I don't know if if you if there's somebody older toiling away down in you know Makushita or one of the lower divisions. Let me know. I don't believe there is, but there could be. Uh, we did have a 40 year old uh, down in one of the lower divisions for a while that was older than Tamawashi, and then he retired about a year ago. Uh, okay, so Nishikigi finally making the move. One of the slowest uh, ascents up into. The top four ranks, what they call the Sanyaku, uh, uh, in, in sumo history since World War II. But he finally made it. I think it took him 103 tournaments or something. That's all stuff we talked about in the welcome video. If you're just tuning in to these matches and you didn't watch the welcome video, go give it a shot. Uh, it's a pretty good ranging discussion over about 45 minutes of everything that's coming up here in the uh, September tournament. And after this, we'll have our first Sekewake, uh, Kotonowaka match uh, versus Shodai. So a uh, bunch of good matches still here to come on day one. Thanks for watching with me. Let's go. Of course, Nishkiki coming in with some confidence after a very good 10 and 5 in July. Got the Shikun Show Award because he beat Terano Fuji on day two before Terano Fuji pulled out of the tournament. He also beat Hoshoru, the champion of last tournament. So uh, he is uh, not worried, I think, about facing some of these top-ranked guys. And here he dispatches uh, Tamawashi's rank below him, of course, this tournament. But there you go. Tomorrow he has... Uh... Oh, I didn't see who he had. It went too fast. Okay, come on back. More to come.